So yesterday we were um, talking about the paranormal stuff that's going on in my house. I'm actually standing on the porch where my ex-girlfriend was knocked down a step right over here. Yeah, she was standing right here about where I am and all of a sudden just kind of went like that. Down one step, right, right there. So yeah, um, figured I'd throw a hunting story in today. Um, I was 16 years old. I've uh, been deer hunting with my dad a few times throughout my life. I don't, wasn't really a weekend hunter. Going out every weekend, freezing my butt off. Watching trees move and shake and listening to squirrels run. Uh, but no, um, uh, when I was 16, I'm 34 now, I was, when I was 16 years old, I got my first deer. Oh, sorry. Uh, I got my first deer at 16. Um, ended up being a spike. Uh, during muzzleloader season, for some reason rifle season, I think they just they get they get the reels and they're, they're being overhunted, or you know their relatives are not showing it for lunch or something. I don't know. They get spooked and it's hard to it's hard to get a kill during rifle season. Not impossible, just a little more difficult. But you get bow season, you'll see a lot. Um, muzzleloader season, you'll see a lot. With our rifle season, they kind of start to dwindle down a little bit in some areas. Maybe you've had that experience. Um, doesn't mean I ain't gonna go, but uh, yeah, we were in a tree stand, a homemade tree stand. Uh, my dad made, I helped him build it. We were, uh, we'd, we'd gotten in the tree stand right about. I don't know, 640, 6.30, 6.45, something like that. Waited for the sun to come up. He hit the ground a few times. Right at daybreak, we just sat there and waited. Um, got to notice some does off to our right. And, uh, just having a look out in front and seen the, sil well, is there's some laurel bushes and on the other side of laurel bushes you can make out his hooves you can see his legs um he was i don't know if he was trying to, to wind us or if he's uh scratching his ears or something but he kept like doing this and i could make out an antler and his the tip of his nose and i could see his tail So, but I couldn't see his body. And, uh, that kind of whispered to me, you see, if you can get a shot, take it. Well, so I just kind of played connect the dots. You see the tail, the legs, and everything in the back. You know, picture, picture, you know, where his body was. Pull the trigger, boom! You're, boom! Deer dropped. So we sat there and we sat there and we sat there and finally you can hear him trying to get up and crawl away and he looked at me and said, bad shot. It happens. Uh, it wasn't, wasn't a good shot. Uh, actually ended up taking out his leg. Just <laughs> broke his leg. And, uh, but uh, you know we ended up shooting that jerker four times with the muzzle loader. He ended the gun to me. We loaded it three times, and or he loaded it one time, and I shot it. And I was trying to hit his, hit him in the shoulder, and uh, right, right, kind of behind the shoulder, and grazed him. Uh, shot him again. Shot at him again. Shot over him, and uh, finally I handed the gun to Dad. So here, <laughs> finish this for me. So he shot him, and we got it. 
that was about four hours after, or four hours after I actually killed my first deer. That was the first deer I ever shot, first deer I ever killed. We were getting ready to go after that one, and I climbed down out of the tree stand, getting ready to go, and Dad spotted some more deer. Well, I had the I had the gun in my hand. I didn't have the little clip. Uh, it's a little tiny little, just a little tiny little. Uh, piece of brass that goes in behind the firing pin and that's the uh, gunpowder but uh we were uh, he's seen the deer threw the clip down to me I kept picking up dropping it picking up dropping it, picking up, dropping it. finally I got my hand on it put it in the gun deer ran within about 15 yards of me and stopped I said, "Oh crap!" And it 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 saw me. It it could see me plain as day. I was wearing a bright orange jacket. And it saw me and just kind of froze. I done like this to my dad, and he's like, "Shoot it! Shoot it!" I was like, "Okay." So I just threw the gun up, shot it, and as soon as I pulled the trigger, it moved. Ended up shooting it dead center. Still not the best place, you know, you got shots are not the best shots. But you can kill deer like that. It's not recommended. But ended up he ran probably, I don't know, fifty yards. When he got him what I thought was a doe ended up being a a little button head. Went down, chased down the spike, got him. But yeah, that morning we were seeing deer everywhere and we had a lot of does. That was the only buck we saw, well, only two bucks we saw that we could actually tell were bucks. I mean, there might've been some butt heads in there, but we saw quite a few does, quite a few, you know, they were moving that day. Um, you got days like that sometimes, I guess, but yeah. Still trying to see what you guys, what kind of stories you guys are interested in here. And if you want more hunting stories, you want more ghost stories, you want more um, Bigfoot Sasquatch stories. I got plenty of those, plenty of everything. You know, I got I got stories galore. And if people ask how you get these stories, where these stories coming from, I get them emailed to me. Uh, some of them are my own experiences with the hunting stories and the paranormal stuff. Um, if it's going to be a nice weekend, I'm going to take you guys up to some place. That's another hot spot. Uh, well, off away from a hot spot up in the mountains. I like going to sometimes. Uh, we'll go there, check it out. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's all I got for today. Like I said, keep in touch. Thanks for watching.